Hey guys, Fun and Neutral. I wanted to share with you my next accessory that I said I wasn't going to buy for my bike. Um, I said I wasn't going to buy any more accessories, but as you can see, since we're here doing this, I did. I have a problem, I guess. Um, anyway, it's a uh, MRA uh, X Cream smoked tinted spoiler for my windscreen. I've always wanted to get one of these. I always thought they looked cool, but I was very leery of buying one because I'm like, man, that's they could be junky and cause a bunch of problems. Um, the buffeting, though, um, has always been something I've dealt with, especially with my helmet setup. And um, the bugs pegging me right in the eyes. So uh, with my seat height going up a little bit with my Corbin seat, I needed a solution to bring me back down without buying a whole brand new windscreen. So this is what I went with. This is the clamp-on version. However, the kit that I bought comes with the option to drill hardware. Fitment was easy and it's secure. It's not all crappy. Let me show you a view from the back. Give me a minute so I don't fall in this ditch. Alright. Distortion. It's about looking through sunglasses to me. I mean, not much distortion. And here's what it looks like through my V-Stream National Cycle. At first, I was kind of upset that it wasn't as dark as the V-Screen. Um, but now I'm happy it's not as dark because somebody said that I looked at their review. They said that it, it's, you know, looking through this kind of messes with your vision. And, and they're right. A collar rider, no problem. Now, this is adjustable, so I can drop it down. But I want maximum anti-buffeting. So I have it on its highest setting for the most part. Um, and it definitely works. And I find if I sit up you know, proper upright, my vision is about right here. And what is happening is it this really does work. Um, now, I don't go long highway speeds. So you adventure touring guys may have a different take on this. But from what I've read from a few of those guys that have bought these, it does the job. So this little gap right here underneath it, where the wind hits the screen and then shoots up behind this. So that works. So fitment, fitment was easy. Trista Throttle, who I bought this from, has a great installation video. Plus the paper uh, instructions that come with this are in English. You just have to find that section. Um, it costs $115 on Twisted Throttle. Um, the brand MRA is out of Germany. Its competition for me was the Pug, Pug. Um, but somebody bought this one and the Pug at the same time and compared the hardware. And from they said the magic words that the hardware was beefier with the MRA, and that was enough to sell me on it. Uh, something about Pug having plastic screws and stuff. Um, the only plastic parts on this are the dog bones, these little inserts. The clamps are metal. The screws that hold the bits in are metal, and the tension screws are metal. It fits on there really snug and good. Now, naturally, I just got this, so time will tell if it goes to fly off and smack me in the face, but it does work. Um, the buffeting is gone for me, and it looks nice. $115 Twisted Throttle. I'll put the link in the description. So you're wondering, are they junk? Um, is it a waste of money? It is pricey, but comfort, man. Just like with the seat, just like with your grips. You know, for you guys that do long rides, you got to have some comfort. I don't do super long rides, and I still want comfort. So this is going to be a comfort feature, I think. And, you know, if it helps keep buffeting off of your helmet some, and it does. And um, I'll give an update to this as to how well it stays put. The big 
telling factor on this thing for me will be the level of bugs I get in my face. Um, I started getting bugs right here and all across up here once I sat up higher. So I'll know real quick if this works or not. And um, But from just me driving around, getting up to about 70 miles an hour, I already feel the wind going over the top of my head. It works. And it appears to be of quality construction. Um, there were some on eBay for like 15 bucks or whatever. You know those are going to be crap. So I, I wouldn't waste my money on those. I'm not saying MRA is the best brand there is just because I bought one. But I will say, I read reviews, a lot of them. I watched a bunch of installation videos, a lot of them. And this seemed to come out very well. I, I'm also going to put in the description um, a really cool windscreen with this already installed on it from MRA. Had I seen that setup when I was out to buy my windscreen and all that, I would have bought it. It, uh, it looks really sharp. It comes with this, the screen. You can get it in tint with this spoiler already attached from the factory. I believe it was like 130 total um, US dollars. I, I'm going to put the link in there. It's all in English. I, I'm not sure if you could buy it direct from the company or not, or you're going to have to find a distributor, but it's most likely going to have to come out of Europe. But I think it's possibly doable. I think if you work at it, you'll be able to get it, and it looks really good on the Honda CB500X. The, the picture of it installed, it looks sharp. So if um, something was to go down with my windscreen, I would surely try and buy one of those. So I'm going to put that in the description as well. And uh, that's just a little, a little accessory, but we'll see if it uh, stands the test of time, stays in place, and doesn't fall off. But so far, I'm liking it. Catch you guys later.